Electronic information dominates day 16 of the Chad Daybell murder trial. I'm senior reporter Roland Barris at the Ada County Courthouse in downtown Boise, where most of the day was spent on how police track Chad Daybell's phone and internet data. Prosecutors presented a lot of electronic data to the jury in day 16 of the Chad Daybell trial, but defense attorney John Pryor cut to the quick. You didn't find an email or Facebook posting or text that said from Chad Daybell saying, Lori, Let's kill the kids. You never found anything like that, right? I did not. But prosecutors did present evidence gathered from a Google account under Chad Daybell's name that sought details of wind direction in Rexburg, Idaho on September 8th. The user of Chad.Daybell looked up uh, what the wind direction was going to be for the following day, which would have been the 9th. And in the course of your investigation, why was that of, of note? Because we believe on the ninth um, was the day uh, that Tylee was, uh, her body was burned and buried in the fire pit behind Chad's house. Well, that's why we're concerned because... Earlier testimony centered around Rexburg police body cam video showing officers asking Lori Daybell where JJ was. That was on November 26th of 2019. They returned the next day to find Lori was gone, leaving behind lots of personal items, but no clothing. The clothing left in this uh, closet shower. Detective, we just heard you say there was no clothing left in that closet, correct? Yes. Was that of note to you? Uh, it was. It, it made me think that the uh, occupants, because of our day, visit before left in haste. Defense attorney Pryor said whatever the reason for Lori leaving, police didn't check in with Chad. That doesn't mean Chad Daybell was vacating, was it? Well, it wasn't Chad at Chad's home. Right. It was Lori Vallow's home, right? Correct. Finally, the state questioned FBI agent Steve Daniels about a shovel and pick found in Chad Daybell's garage. This after displaying pictures of the burial site where JJ and Ty Lee's bodies were found. Court ended for the day before we could see where counsel was headed with this evidence, but it will likely be their starting point next week. Reporting from the Ada County Courthouse in downtown Boise, I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.